In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share high resolution slides in a Teams meeting, even if you only have one screen in PowerPoint, and still be able to see your notes in Presenter View. So this has always been a challenge if you only have one screen, because Presenter View was built for as an assumption of two screens. So I'm going to show it to you on a Mac in this video. So I'm going to go to my MacBook Air and uh, we're going to go through how you do this using PowerPoint in Teams. So here I am, I'm on my uh, MacBook Air. I've got my Teams meeting running, you can see that, and I have my PowerPoint file. So the first thing I'm gonna do in PowerPoint is I'm going to put it into the regular slideshow mode. So I can do that either through uh, a number of different ways. I'm gonna make this a little wider here. So the slideshow ribbon has the buttons here, you have the shortcut keys, or what I typically do is just use the the little slideshow icon in the lower bar here, click on that and put it into full screen slideshow. Now, you notice that uh, there is an option in the bottom. So I'm gonna move my cursor down to the bottom left here. In the bottom left, there's a little three dots, which gives you an additional menu. And here's the key. We're going to swip, switch this to presenter view. So I'm gonna click on use presenter view and when I do that, what happens is, is it switches my display to presenter view, but it didn't get rid of slideshow view. So here's the thing about presenter view. Presenter view has two windows. It has the presenter view window and the slideshow window. So in Teams, now I can go and share that slideshow window with the attendees in the meeting. So I'm gonna go back to Teams and Teams usually puts a, a little minimized uh, thing here. So you just click on the, the video and it restores the, the Teams interface. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say share content. And I'm going to have to select window because I'm going to select a, a window, not the screen. So I'll click on window and it lists the different windows here. And you'll notice there are some different windows for PowerPoint. There's the presenter view, there's the slideshow and then there's the editing mode. So you wanna make sure you check for this word slideshow because that's the one you wanna share. So I'll click on that window as the one that I want to share. And it's now sharing that in the meeting. And you can see that on the attendees screen. So now I'll go back to presenter view. I have to click on it so it's the current application. And now I can just use my mouse, the arrows, um, my keyboard, whatever I'm using to go through my slides. And I'm seeing all of my notes. I have all the functionality of PowerPoint presenter view. I have all the animations, the builds, the morph transitions, the film strip along the bottom so I can jump ahead or behind to any slide I want. All the functionality that I want in PowerPoint presenter view. But you'll notice the attendees are only seeing that slideshow. So they don't see my notes or anything else. When I'm done, I simply stop sharing in Teams the normal way I would is simply click on the stop sharing icon here in the controls and it goes back to the regular uh, Teams here interface. And I can go back to PowerPoint and say end the show. And now that uh, puts me back into the regular PowerPoint. So this is a great option for you to consider when you want to show your attendees high resolution slides, full screen slides from PowerPoint presenter view on a Mac, but you only have your laptop, that one screen. Because what this allows you to do is it allows you to share that slideshow window while you see your notes and everything else in presenter view. Give that a try in your next meeting. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.